First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the temple of King David, scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. A Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few sincere Akwaf. And Shalom to the 144,000. And now, this is going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And this is going to be more for you newer brothers, man. Right? And you newer sisters that are out there. Right? Because every day, right, there are people that are waking up to this truth. You see? And also, this, well, you know what? This applies for everybody, man. You see that? And even, you know, a brother like myself, man. You see? You know, because scriptures tell you to what? Examine thyself. You see that? Whether thou be in the faith. You see? Because every day, this is something that we're supposed to do, man. Right? Now, what I want to do here is I want to show you this guy here. You see that? This is a guy, right? Believe it or not. You know, this guy here, he knows he's a Hebrew Israelite. You see that? And this is a video that I found of him, right? And I actually wanted to bring it out, you know, uh, 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 you know, a few, you know, uh, a couple of videos ago, right? But the spirit is on me now to do this video. So this guy here, you see that? On your screen, he knows that he's a Hebrew Israelite. You see? And what I'm going to do, all right, is I'm going to show you this video, right, that was obtained right by peoples right and you know show you his behavior man because a lot of you hebrew israelites out there you guys gotta know the scripture see it's just more about just knowing that you are a hebrew israelite you see that the spirit of the lord really got to be dealing with the men you see that to be you know prophets today you see out there teaching you know presenting their bodies a living sacrifice things like that you know but there's a lot of people that just simply know that they're Hebrew Israelites, and that's where the train stops at. You see that? And I'm going to show you an example. This dude right here on your screen, he's an example. You see that? Of a person that just knows that he's a Hebrew Israelite. You see? Because scriptures tell you that all Israel, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and grab that real quick. You know, and then I'm going to go ahead and play the video. Let's start, uh, let's go to the book of Romans. This is the book. Of Romans, right? That's the spirit. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9. And I'm going to read, I'm going to start, I'm, I'm just going to read verse 6. And it reads, not as though the word of the Most High, right, have taken none effect, right? But it says, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. You see that? And I want to bring it out, man, because there's a lot of people, right, that simply just know. That they're Hebrew Israelites. But as far as that, brothers and sisters, that's it. That's why you, if you know that you're Hebrew Israelite, you guys better study. You men and, and sisters, you guys better study the scriptures, man. The scriptures say study to show thyself approved. You see that? Go into the thing. You know, go into Hebrew, go into the Greek, right? Go into these things, man. Because if not, you're going to find yourself looking like this right here, man. You see that? To have no control over your spirit, man. You see? And uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this video here. Watch this. Please see your hand. What's up? All right. Thanks. Get, get it out. Get it out of my pocket. Just That's what I want. Just say like so, just I on. keep saying this Come on camera so I can know who the fuck y'all now. Let me take your thing off so y'all don't really think I'm just doing have nothing. a conversation. Oh, King no, I can't. Cause I Did you hear what he said? You see that? Now, look. <laughs> now you see Jake. You know, he said here, bug it out. <laughs> All right, a lot of you people out there are like this, man. A lot of you men out there are very emotional, man. You see that? Now, you can see, you know, he ain't got nothing around his waist. But did you hear what he said? He said on King David. You see that? So, again, this guy here, he knows he's a Hebrew Israelite. I'm going to take it back so you can hear it one more time. You got to listen, though, real good. Watch this. Dude, just so, just I keep saying this on, on camera so I can know who the fuck y'all now. Let me take your thing off so y'all don't really think I'm just doing nothing. Just have a conversation. Oh, King, no, I can't. Cause I'm 
So as you listen, you know, that you know, they're telling him to calm down. You see that? And Jake is bugging the hell out. You see that? <laughs> He is, this dude is going <laughs> Right, this is a warning. You see that? For you brothers and you few sisters that are out there, man. Right? It's more than just knowing that you are Hebrew Israelite. Right? You got to, uh, 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 again, the scriptures tell you. As a matter of fact, let me see here, man. Right? And I'm going to show you something else, too. You know? Let's read this here. You brothers and you, and this is for you, this is for everybody, man. St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 25, and it reads, Agree with thine adversary quickly. You see that? So you're supposed to, anytime you're confronted by an officer, whether you're right or whether you're wrong, you're supposed to agree with your adversary quickly. And if you don't know who your adversary is, I'm just going to straight up and down tell you, your adversary is Esau Edom. You see that? If you don't know who Esau is, you know, you better look it up. You see? So you better agree with him quickly, man. Whilst thou art in a way with him, at least at any time, right? The adversary deliver thee to the judge. What the hell does that sound like? And the judge, right, deliver thee to the officer, you see? And thou be cast into prison you see that so in this guy's case right here he's not agreeing with his adversary quickly you see he is this dude is bugging the only thing he knows that he's a hebrew israelite so it just shows you the little knowledge that he has and this i'm telling you brothers and sisters if you don't want to end up like this you better grow in the spirit whether you've been in this thing for six months Right, you men that are out there, you guys supposed to be out there teaching, man, doing videos, things like that. You see, you know, so you better study, 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 man. At least do, you know, at least, and, and this goes for me too. You see that? Need, you know, brothers and sisters need to start reading at least, right, uh, three or four chapters a day, man. You see, because individuals like this right here, man, this is where it stops. That he just know that he a Hebrew Israelite. He out there, you know, on King David, bugging out, man. Let's keep going here. I don't really think I'm just doing nothing. Have a conversation. Oh, King David. No, I can't, because I'm staying trying to, and y'all pissing me off like them. They are calling you, man. Can you respond to them on the radio? If they know where to call. And you see, you know, he pretty out there wearing all black. You see that? So this dude here, he probably just a, you know, all black bug out. You know, a lot of you all black Hebrew bug out. The spirit of the Lord ain't really dealing with you guys, man. Right? That word black means void of light. We tell you individuals to look it up. Right? Scriptures uh, uh, are going to how my heritage is like a speckled bird. A speckled bird is all colors. So that all black Hebrew shit is dead. Anybody thinking like that? If you're watching these videos and you're thinking that the Hebrew Israelites are all black, Go throw yourself into a chipper, a wood chipper, man. Because you're going off. Scripture's going to a, 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 a cake being unturned. You see? And when you flip a cake over, right, one side is black and the other side is brown. So we're all different shades, Jake. But Jake is, you know, so stupid and simple. Wake up. Oh, my God. Anyway, let's keep going here. You ain't finna do nothing, bro. I'll sit down, bro, so y'all can stop this. feeling so f***ing alarm, bro. That's why I just tell my baby. That's why I just told my sister to leave with my son, bro. Right. I don't want him to see this shit, bro. Because so I'm family. You can Cause what can she honestly do? Nothing, ain't it? I told you where you're being. All right, let me step back. You step back. But what can she honestly do? Nothing, right? Well, it's disorderly conduct. What? Cause how? 
What am, who am I? I'm only talking who, loud. Who are you breathing? Whose piece are you breathing? Are you kidding? Look at the way you're acting right now. Look at the way you acting. Because I ask you a certain questions a lot of times. You might tell me until I ask you 50 times. Suck my dick. Please don't. Suck my dick. I, I mean, you are you mad? My friend. Oh! But you can breach their piece. Okay, people no, no, you. but I'm not doing that. So you are take telling me that I'm not breaking the law. Suck my... What? All right, what? You gonna write me a ticket? That would be the best way to go about this, so we don't have you to deal with it anymore. You're not I'm coming to... I'm coming. Perfect, all right. I ain't, I'm coming to contest it, because you're wrong, and you know you're wrong, and the one thing about it is, God ain't gonna bless your little dirty ass. Okay. You a blue-eyed devil. Okay. What's your last... You see that? So you know, this, you know, a lot of you know, a lot of you individuals out there, you know, just ain't got no rule over your spirit. You know, this J, you know, you blah, you're going off, man. You see that? And then, you know, and the spirit of the Lord really ain't dealing with this dude. Well, I ain't gonna say really ain't, but the spirit of the Lord ain't dealing with this dude, man. Right? Eventually, you know, he throw his ass and you know, throw his ass in cuffs. You see that? And then he go to jail. You see? So yeah, man. You know, just wanted to bring this out here. A lot of you, 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 you know, you Hebrew Israelite, you tough guys. You know, you got guys over there in London and all going off. You know, you people out there want to flex on Esau, Edom. You guys are wicked, man. You know, and the Lord going to destroy you individuals, man. You know, see, when you come in this thing, man, you supposed to come into this thing, man, and become a new creature, man. You know, not just still being a bug out. uh uh, uh. A Negro that know that you a Hebrew Israelite. Scratch some scriptures. Jake ain't got no rule over his soul. Let me see here. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 25, verse 28. He that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down. And without walls, you see that? And this is exactly what this dude, you know, this is his, his case right here, man. A, you know, just a dude that know he an Israelite, but ain't got no rule over his soul. Bugged out, out there with his son and everything, man. Going off. Let this be an example for you individuals out there that, that really don't fear the Lord, man. Let me see, what else do I have here? You know, because this dude here, he's not my brother. And let's go ahead and read that account. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 12, and I'm going to start at verse 24, or start, at, or start at verse 48, and it reads, But he answered and said unto him that told him, right, Who is my mother and who are my brethren, right? Check this out. We're going to find out who they are. And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, right? This is how was Shah speaking. He says, Behold, my mother and my brethren, right? For whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and my sister and mother. You see that? So I want to bring this out here, man, because, you know, you got people like, well, you know, can't we all just be brother? This dude right here, not my brother, man. He ain't got no rule over his spirit. He out there bugging out and just know that he a Hebrew Israelite, all black. You see? And I don't, I can't tell, but it looks like he got hair. Okay. Know, What's your last thing? I'm lying. I'm not telling you that shit. Let me see. You know you wrong. And the one thing about it is, God ain't gonna bless your little dirty ass. Okay. You a blue-eyed devil. Yeah, man. Jay going off. Okay. What's your last thing? I'm lying. I'm not telling you that shit. You mad? <laughs> I'm not telling you. I'm just, man, I'm, I just. Uh, I'm not telling you! I, I genuinely. Leave me the f alone because I was finna say this. Suck it because you look like you're around. Jake Wicked, man. You see that? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Jake is wicked. It's like, you know, I'm just. Jake is wicked, man. Let me see what else do I got here. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 1. It reads, a soft answer turn up away wrath, but grievous words stir up, up anger. You see that? And Jake don't know these simple, basic scriptures. You see, he out there with a Sonic the Hedgehog book back on. You know, now he out there. <laughs> Jake. 
<laughs> out there bugging out, man. Right? And, you know. <sighs> Let's go ahead and grab something else here. All right. This is the book of, uh, let me see. This, it, I see what this says. This is the book of Romans chapter 13. Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorites. Romans chapter 13, verse 1. And it reads, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of the most high. You see that? So, yeah, man. Every soul should be subject to the higher power. So, all you crazy ass individuals that are out there and you think, you know, you ain't got to, you know, be uh, a subject to the higher powers. Suck it because you look like you're around that same I don't want to take you to jail today. What's up? Yeah, you know, so Jake going off, bugging out. Let me see here. Let's see if we can fast forward. Well, you know, let's go back a little bit. Jake Wicked, man. I'm giving you my card. I'm not being... Nah, all right. I'm giving you my lawyer card, stupid. Okay. okay. Yeah, so... Jake, you know, Jake... Anyway. Let every soul be subject to the higher powers, for there is no power but of the most high. The powers that are, it's like that be, are ordained of the most high, Romans 13 and 1. You see that? So, yeah, man. Let every soul be subject to the higher powers, Jake. All right, and they go for you women that are out there. Your higher power is your man. As a matter of fact, that's your Lord. You see? So this is why you see a lot of women out there being destroyed because they're not being uh, uh, subject to their higher powers too, man. You see? But you males out there, you guys out there, man, you guys are going off. Anyway, Romans 13, 2. Whosoever therefore resists the power, resists the ordinance of the, power, of the most high. And they that resist, right, shall receive to themselves damnation. You see that this dude here, he lucky he ain't get killed, man. You see? You know, Jake out there going off and bugging out. Let me see. Did you know that there's a simple combination of natural ingredients that will help you poop out pounds of old rotten waste in your colon within just... Esau, you whack, man. All you do is talk about poop. Dang. Devil. Anyway. I'm spitting your shit. No, I didn't, bitch ass. I can still hear. Because you timed it out. I meant to drink it. No, I didn't, bitch. Can you just give me time for Can you shut the f up? I thought y'all could put me in here. I'm 150 pounds. I'm 5'8. No, when I say I'm under a charge, that not that I'm under the influence, bitch. I'm calling Scott Skirman, bro. I'm bro. Why y'all? Yeah, Jake, wow, man. You see that, but, you know, you just saw a lot of you Israelites out there going to end up, man. You know, it's bugging out. You know? Use wisdom. Until the next time I say, Shalom.